Hi there dreamers, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, hi, I'm Jacqueline, great to meet you, thanks for spending some time here. Consider subscribing if you are into plants, and particularly Hoyas, we do have that in common, if that's the case. And that's what I make videos about. I don't have a set schedule right now, but I'm really excited to be back in the new year. Happy 2021 to everybody. I saw a trend going around, people kind of making their wish lists for 2021. And while I don't think I'm going to get all these plants this year, <laughs> I thought it would be fun just to kind of put it out there, what Hoyas I'm really interested in. I've found that a lot of people just come across these things once they put it out there. So I thought I would give myself the best opportunity. Plus I thought it would make a fun video for you. So if you're interested to see what Hoyas are on my wish list for 2021 and beyond, click that like button down below. Let me know what Hoya is top of your wish list in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. These are in no particular order. I just was going through my wish list off the top of my head, as well as some things that I had saved on my Instagram, particularly things that I had saved more than once. I'm gonna do my best to show you images of everything. I don't have a ton to say about each individual one just because I don't own them yet. I'm just really attracted to them. Hoya Matilde. I'm excited about this one because it does seem to be becoming more available. So I do think that that one is attainable in the near future. Hoya Matilde, it has beautiful flowers. It's supposedly pretty generous with them. Hoya Meredithii. This is one that has been on my list for quite some time. I am very into veiny Hoyas. So that is going to be a running theme that you see on this list. Hoya neo Ibudica is less veiny and a little more like textured, but a little bit of both. I'm just really into it. I am not sure what the flowers look like on this. Again, I'm not into the Hoyas for the flowers. I particularly buy the ones I like the foliage and flowers are a bonus. Hoya Botanica, this one I saw recently in a Lesia's Leaves video and hers is gorgeously sun-stressed. I have never seen this one in person, but if I do, at a reasonable price, it will absolutely be coming home with me. Next on my list is Hoya Clandestina, or Hoya Affinity Clandestina. I really enjoy this one because it varies a lot, but it's still very prolific with veins regardless. So I feel like you could probably have multiple of this plant and they would all look different. That's kind of what draws me to it. Hoya SP Cast is another one that is really large and veiny. I don't think I really need to explain these ones very much anymore. You guys are on to me. Hoya Sulawesi or Sulawesi, I'm not really sure. I don't have a Hoya yet that I don't know how to pronounce its name, so I feel like this, this list is that challenge. <laughs> Sulawesi, I've also seen Sunstress really beautifully. Uh, I do use grow lights, so that is a potential thing that can happen if I were to time them correctly. Uh, I'm not trying to Sunstress anything at this point. Hoya Surigawensis is one that is definitely on my list. I actually saw that Gabriella Plants started growing this plant and selling it, and I tried to get it a couple of times and failed. I used to have really good luck with Gabriella Plants, but now everybody knows about them, and I don't have luck with getting anything from them. <laughs> Sir Gawensis is one that I've seen on multiple people's Instagrams that just seems to be a pretty prolific grower for them. This one I have only seen once, and it's really interesting, but I'm gonna read it off the page because it's just a series of letters and numbers. Hoya SP DML 5655B or IML1398. This Hoya is stunning. I saw this one, I think it was just in the last couple of days on Instagram, and I was completely blown away. I normally am not attracted to the Hoyas with numbers for names. I don't like the just numbers thing. It bothers me. But this one is just too pretty to pass up, so if I do see it, it will be mine. Get out of here. You know you're a plant tuber when a fungus gnat flies straight for the lens. Hoya Nicholsonia is also on this list. Again, it's kind of got that hybrid of raised edges and veining going on. That one I've been seeing a little bit more prevalently, at least like on Etsy, so I think that one I may be able to get reasonably soon. Hoya Larissa or Larissa is also on this list. It's a beautiful, I'm just super mesmerized by Hoya Vitalina is on this list. That one has a little more subtle veining, but do I need to explain myself further? I have a type. Hoya species Germany 
is one that I just think is absolutely stunning. I have no idea if this one is in the US or how available it is, but it's just one of those ones where, oh my goodness, if I could get a Hoya Germany, that would be, that would be a really, really good day. Next on my list is one that I think is on a lot of Hoya lovers' wish list, and that is Hoya Crassipediolata. I would also accept a splash, who wouldn't? It doesn't seem quite as humongous as some of the other veiny Hoyas on this list. That's another reason why I'm not limiting myself to getting them all right now, because most of my Hoyas are in this small room that I am in, and don't have room for humongous ones that are gonna grow really fast right now. But I would like to think that that's going to change at some point in the near-ish future. Hoya species Ganung Gading, or Ganung Gading, I'm not sure how to say this one. Most of these I've seen written down, but not actually heard vocalized before. So this one is one that you've probably seen a few times on Instagram, particularly for its beautiful sun's dress. This one is in my like saved Hoya stuff on Instagram five, six times because Clearly I'm into it. Hoya Tequila Sunrise is one that I have never seen in person. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about, but I've seen it in a couple of absolutely stunning pictures online and I would love to have it. Next is Hoya Saba. This one is a huge veiny Hoya. I keep saying the same things about all these Hoyas. It's veiny, it's huge, I love it, and would like to own it someday. <laughs> Hoya Irina or Irina. I would really like to own as well. That one reminds me of Hoya Larissa or Larissa. Obviously different, it's named differently, but they remind me of each other. Hoya Latifolia, this one is often referred to as the dinner plate Hoya. I would love to own that at some point. Again, I'm limited on space right now, but at some point when that changes, I would love to add this to my collection. And the last one, I feel like I added as a challenge for myself because I think it would be funny to own a Hoya that I can't actually pronounce the name, so I'm gonna do my best because I've seen it and I'd really want it. Hoya Jadasmalingensis. Okay, let's try that again. Hoya Jadasmalingensis. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Like, once you get going, it's not so bad. Uh, this one is on my list. I recently saw this one on Instagram, and basically, if it's a Hoya that has really strong veining, if I know about it, it's on my wish list. If I don't know about it, it's bound to end up there. That's all this video is saying. Again, let me know what is at the top of your Hoya wish list in that comment section down below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. If you did make it to the end, leave me a plant emoji. Thank you for spending your time here. I truly appreciate you. Hope you're having a great day or evening, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.